All right, so this is History 2048. Oh, wow. Is this? What? Uh, the game just, like, literally started. And I'm literally, like, controlling this. Is that a puzzle game? What is... What's going on here? Is this... Wow, uh... This is interesting. I have no idea what I'm doing, but... It seems like I'm doing okay, right? I'm literally just moving left or right. Discovery of fire. Mammal hunt. Ancient Egypt, Trojan War, Ancient Olympic Games. Okay, so you basically move your puzzle pieces. And I guess, you know, one starts at level one, and then when you combine two of them, it turns into level two, and then it goes on. Okay, honestly, I'm just fucking moving the fucking board around <laughs> until I uh, get pieces that match up. But, I mean, it's it's... A little entertaining. How much did this game cost? Crick magnet? I have no idea. Squirrel Emperor, how's it going? It would make sense if Lemon Run's trying to be a full on publisher that Best Buy hasn't gone out of stock at all. You know, I've noticed a lot of their limited run stuff at, at Best Buy is there and easy to find. Even though they say it's going to be. Um, limited, <laughs> like like Squirrel Emperor is saying. Um, I don't know. I, I've considered getting the variants at um, at Best Buy. I'm looking up the price of History Twenty Forty Eight, by the way, for a for a Crick Magnet. But the variants at Best Buy. Um, I don't know if it uh, if 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 I want to be that insane of a collector and get a color get a cover variant, some of the covers do look cool, but I think some of the ones from Limited Run themselves are actually a little a little eight bit better, if I should use a term. So am I literally just making pieces match until I get to the highest level? Is that is that there wasn't even a title screen for this game? I don't recall. Did y'all did y'all see a title screen? I didn't. I didn't fucking see one. Now, I know there's a market out there for people that like like to play these types of games. There's there's a lot of puzzle fanatics out there. Like Jay's a puzzle guy. Uh, me, not so much, but I can appreciate it. this one's kind of kind of different. I I will give them credit on that. It's it's definitely definitely a little bit different than what I've seen out there. Difference good though, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times you see shit on the eShop that's just the same type of crap over and over. I have some undo left. Okay, so let's, let's do undo. On NS collectors on Reddit, there's guys that buy every cover. See, that's that's a little bit much for my for my for my my personal thought is I, I wouldn't I can't get I did that with NES. There's no way I could humanly do it for Switch and not not ruin my fucking wallet. <laughs> Already just ordering off a of limited runs website is killing my fucking wallet, so, yeah, I can't, I can't do, I can't do that much more. So each level that you get with a tile, when you, when you match, it goes to a different type of time period and history, so that's kind of, that's kind of interesting. 
But the more you move, the more tiles pop up. And if you run out of stuff, it's game over, man. It's game over. Between the U.S. and Japan, I'm over 60 games. Yeah, that's the other thing, man. Like, imports and exclusives between all the different web... Like, every... There's another website that just came out. The ones that are doing the Messenger physically. Like, there's all these fucking limited run type of websites now. And it's like, holy fuck. That's fucking... It's outrageous. It's outrageous and it's tough on the, on the pocketbook. So, from there on out, I was originally trying to get as many of the physicals as I can... Here on out, I'm just going to have to pick what I really want because, or what's on sale for cheap because it's, 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 it's coming, it's coming crazy. But yeah, back to this game, uh, it's not, nothing too exciting, I don't think. That's, uh, History 2048.